Now, the first thing I want to do is to, f to define the random variable. So I'm going to say let x be the random variable and I'll write RV for short. And that random variable is going to stand for the lifetime of the battery. So we'll just write lifetime of battery and that's measured in hours, so the battery in hours. And also to define the distribution that X follows, and that we know is a normal distribution, so I'll say where X is normally distributed. Okay, and when we describe a normal distribution, we always have two parameters that describe it. And the first one is the mean, and for this we have a mean of 62 hours, so I'll just write 62. And the second parameter is the variance. And the variance is the standard deviation squared. So if the standard deviation is 3, the variance is either 3 squared or simply 9. And the units, if you were interested, are hours squared. OK, so we have defined the distribution for x. And it's always useful to draw a diagram. So I've got the normal distribution here and we would label this axis x and the mean is 62 so I'll put the mean of 62 in the middle here. Now we're interested in finding the probability that the battery lasts less than 68 hours. So 68, I'll just mark in over here to the right of the 62. So I mark in 68, just say here. Okay, and we're after finding this probability in here, which is represented by the area, the area to the left of 68. Okay. Now, in order to calculate this probability, what we need to do is standardize this distribution. And by that we draw underneath here the standardized normal distribution which is given by the letter Z. Z, just to remind you, is a normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. So if the mean is 0, I'll just put that down there. Next, what I've got to do is calculate the Z value that is associated with this observed value, let's call it little x, which is 68. And to do that, I project down from the 68, project down onto the standardized normal curve, and I'll call this value here Z1. Now Z1 is basically a value which describes the number of standard deviations that we are above the mean. And Z1 is calculated by using the transformation, the observed value, minus the mean, all over the standard deviation. And the mean is represented by mu and the standard deviation is represented by the letter sigma. And x, small x, is the observed value here, 68. So if I work this out, okay, the observed value is 68, minus the mean, 62, there we go, up there, all over the standard deviation, which is the square root of 9, in other words, 3. So 68 minus 62 is 6 and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the 2 tells us that the 68 is two standard deviations away from the mean. And you can really see this anyway because the standard deviation was 3 so 62 plus 3 gives us 65 and if we add 65 uh, with another 3 OK, that brings us up to 68. So 68 is essentially 
two standard deviations away from the mean and that's what Z represents. So what are we saying then? We're being asked to work out the probability that our random variable X, that is the lifetime of the battery, is less than 68 hours. And if we standardize this, this is equivalent to working out the probability that Z is less than the two, two standard deviations away from the mean. Now, I need to look up this value in a set of cumulative probability distribution tables. And when we look this up in standardized tables, what we'll see is the letter phi. Phi represents the cumulative distribution function. And so I need to look under phi of 2 in order to be able to answer this question. And phi of 2 will represent this area through here, okay, to the left of Z. So if we turn to a set of tables, so we turn to our tables for the commutative distribution function uh, for Z. Now you'll notice that we have a Z value of 2, that represents two standard deviations above the mean, and phi of 2 gives us the probability of being less than or equal to the two standard deviations above the mean. That is, in other words, this shaded area up here. So phi of 2 then is 0.9772. This is the value that we need. So from the tables then, we see that phi of 2 is equal to 0.9772. So therefore, the probability that the battery lasts less than 68 hours has a probability then of 0.9772.